Agentic AI, you've probably heard the buzz about this fancy term. So I think we're gonna live in a world where there are gonna be hundreds of millions of billions of different AI agents eventually probably more AI agents than there are people in the world. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what Agentic AI is, why it's so significant and what's coming next. Agentic AI is transforming every enterprise, using sophisticated reasoning and iterative planning to solve complex multi-step problems. AI agents help marketing campaigns go live faster with instant insights. We'll explore the latest data, research, and industry moves, so you'll walk away with a clear picture of where this technology is headed and why so many companies and experts are getting behind it. Stay with us to learn how agentic AI differs from other AI approaches, how major players like Nvidia and Google are pioneering new breakthroughs, and what it means for everyday life and work. What sets agentic AI apart? Agentic AI isn't just another chatbot that waits for your prompt and spits out a response. Instead of focusing on text generation or image creation, it performs real-world tasks with minimal human oversight. This means planning routes, adjusting inventory, or even executing trades, sometimes faster than a team of human employees could manage. It can also adapt as situations change, so if there's a sudden spike in demand, it can reorder supplies on its own. If traffic patterns shift, it can reroute deliveries without waiting for a new command. Traditional generative AI, by contrast, excels at creating text, images, music, or video based on patterns it learns from data. That's why you see it used in marketing copy or digital art. It can handle prompts like write a social media caption or generate a watercolor style image of a house on a hill. But once it's done, you usually have to step in and decide what to do with those outputs. Agentic AI, on the other hand, goes beyond mere creation. It actively executes plans or decisions in real time. Its primary output is action, not text. That is where its power lies. NVIDIA's AI blueprints and the rise of digital workforces. One of the biggest signals that agentic AI has arrived is NVIDIA's unveiling of AI blueprints. While the company is well known for its graphics processing units, it's now extending into enterprise AI that automates complex tasks end to end. In the end, AI is computing. AI software running on computers. AI blueprints give businesses a framework for building agentic systems able to reason about problems with multiple steps, such as scheduling deliveries, monitoring supply chains, or managing production lines. Jensen Huang, NVIDIA's CEO, predicts a future where organizations combine these agentic systems with human employees to form what he calls a digital workforce. According to Huang, the software agents handle repetitive tasks and monitor massive streams of data around the clock, freeing up employees to focus on more creative or strategic work. This collaborative approach can help companies act quickly when markets shift or unexpected challenges arise. Huang isn't the only one who sees the potential. A Capgemini survey revealed that 32% of top executives believe AI agents will be the leading technology trend by 2025. Companies are hungry for solutions that cut operational costs and improve productivity. Agentic AI fits that bill, promising to handle workflows too unwieldy for human teams or standard chatbots. While NVIDIA is busy rolling out blueprints, Google DeepMind has been refining its own agentic technology, culminating in Gemini 2.0. This new model doesn't just pass text. It can also handle images, voice, and real-time context. Tool usage is a major focus, meaning Gemini 2.0 aims to bridge multiple apps and data sources. It might interpret satellite data, read online documents and analyze sensor inputs from a factory floor, then put it all together to make decisions. The key here is context. Agentic AI needs to track information across different modes, such as vision or text analytics, and keep everything straight. This allows it to respond to changing conditions. If an AI is controlling a fleet of delivery drones, it should notice a sudden road closure or poor weather and reroute accordingly. If it's supporting a call center, it must understand not just a customer's words, but also their sentiment, then respond in a way that solves the issue faster. Gemini 2.0 stands out for combining this kind of advanced understanding with the ability to act on it. Google DeepMind's goal is to create AI that can handle tasks on our behalf. And if you look at the last couple of years, we have, uh, you know, with AI overviews, mm -hmm. Gemini is being used by over a billion users in search alone. And I just feel like we are getting started. Like scheduling appointments, researching complex topics, or even making basic financial decisions. 
It's a leap beyond single-purpose systems into multi-purpose agents that can shift from one domain to another. Practical use cases. Agentic AI is earning so much attention because it can be applied to a broad range of scenarios. In logistics, an agentic system might manage an entire supply chain, deciding which factories should produce goods, which trucks to send, and the best routes to minimize delivery times. If something goes wrong, like a warehouse shutdown, the AI can swiftly adapt. In healthcare, hospitals are starting to adopt AI that can predict patient flow or manage bed assignments. The system looks at incoming data on patient conditions, historical patterns and real-time occupancy rates. It then suggests which wards should prepare for new arrivals and how to reallocate staff resources. That frees doctors and nurses to do what they do best, treat patients, while the AI handles logistics. Financial companies are also keen on agentic systems for automated trading. If market conditions shift, the AI updates portfolios on the fly. This has risks, but when implemented carefully, it can lead to more responsive and data-driven strategies. It doesn't just spit out analysis, it takes the next step by executing trades or reallocating capital, all according to predefined guidelines that humans can revise if something changes drastically. Even in marketing, agentic AI can do more than generate catchy slogans. It can watch live data about customer engagement and pivot campaigns in real time. If a social media ad isn't resonating, the AI adjusts the target audience or tries a different format without waiting for a human to review the numbers. The autonomous nature of agentic AI opens up questions about accountability. If an AI denies someone a job offer or a loan, who is responsible for that decision? Does it come down to the developer, the company using the AI, or the data that trained it? These systems learn from large data sets which can contain biases. If not carefully managed, those biases can manifest in the AI's actions. Another concern is privacy. Agentic AI often collects and processes personal information to make real-time decisions, whether it's location data for logistics or health data in a hospital. Regulations like GDPR exist to protect people's privacy, but the rapid pace of AI innovation sometimes outstrips the ability of policymakers to keep up. Companies adopting agentic AI need to ensure they have strong data safeguards in place. Safety is also a focus for applications like autonomous vehicles or drone fleets. When the AI is making quick decisions with real-world impact, a glitch could lead to property damage or endanger lives. Engineers and regulators typically add layers of checks or human-in-the-loop mechanisms, at least until the system proves stable. This helps balance autonomy with the need for fail-safes. Explainability is another emerging field. Some agentic AIs function as black boxes, where even their creators struggle to explain exactly how they reach decisions. Agentic AI shocking statistics. Forecasts from multiple sources point to a rapid expansion of agentic AI. One estimate projects the market size to jump from $5.1 billion in 2024 to $47.1 billion by 2030. Analysts believe it could contribute $15.7 trillion to global GDP by that time, reflecting its potential to reduce costs, increase output and open up new possibilities in every sector from retail to education. In retail, for example, Agentic AI can run dynamic pricing systems that adjust prices based on inventory, trends and competitor actions, freeing human managers from constant updates. In education, teachers can offload administrative tasks, like assembling reading materials or grading basic quizzes, leaving them more time for engaging students. Meanwhile, in transportation, entire fleets of vehicles, ranging from long-haul trucks to last-mile delivery drones, could run autonomously, checking traffic patterns or weather updates in real time. Such broad applicability explains why companies like Google, Nvidia, Anthropic and Amazon are pushing agentic AI. If they can provide the platforms or tools that power these deployments, they stand to profit significantly. Many startups are also developing specialized solutions for particular domains, such as finance or healthcare, offering tailored products for large organizations that have unique data challenges. While the potential benefits are tremendous, agentic AI must be developed and deployed responsibly. One major ethical question is whether these systems might replace human jobs. Proponents argue that AI handles repetitive tasks, giving workers more time for innovation and problem solving. Critics worry that certain positions will disappear. What would your kind of observation be on, on AI and the impact on labor markets and people's jobs and how they should feel about that as they, as they think about this? I mean, it's hard to say exactly what that moment is, but, but there will come a point where no job is needed. 
especially those involving routine decisions. Bias is another sticking point. If the AI learns from biased data, it may make unfair decisions at scale. For instance, if it sees a pattern of hiring certain demographics in the past, it might continue that pattern and exclude qualified applicants. Businesses and regulators need to set up guardrails, regular audits of AI decisions, transparent reporting, and a commitment to fair data practices to prevent discriminatory outcomes. Privacy concerns are also substantial. Because Agentic AI thrives on real-time data, it's constantly collecting information, whether from sensors, online activities, or user interactions. If this data isn't adequately protected, it becomes vulnerable to leaks or misuse. Healthcare, for example, deals with sensitive medical records and any breach could compromise patient trust. Companies must invest in robust cybersecurity and adhere to strict privacy regulations. Some analysts compare the rise of agentic AI to past tech revolutions, such as the shift from mainframe computing to personal computers or the emergence of the internet. Those milestones reshaped how people worked and lived. Agentic AI could be next. If it meets its promise, workplaces will likely become more automated and responsive, with people focusing on creative thinking, relationship building and deep problem solving rather than routine tasks. Healthcare might evolve to where AI-driven triage systems handle the immediate decisions and specialists step in for treatments that require expert judgment. Education could become more personalised, with AI curating content in real time to match each student's learning pace. Transportation might move closer to fully autonomous vehicles, not just for personal travel, but for deliveries, emergency services and public transport. Companies like NVIDIA are providing new frameworks for developing these agents, while Google DeepMind's Gemini 2.0 exemplifies next-level capabilities in multimodal intelligence. The market projections are huge because so many sectors see the potential for streamlined operations, lower costs and rapid decision-making. Still, with great power comes great responsibility. As agentic AI takes on bigger roles, balancing efficiency with transparency and accountability becomes urgent. Businesses need to ensure these systems align with ethical standards and legal frameworks. That might mean regular audits, explainable AI features, or strict privacy protections. It might also mean leaving humans in the loop for high impact decisions. If you have made it this far, share your thoughts in the comments section below. Now, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.